While the best players in the world were busy pulling out of tennis tournaments, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. Yes, it's true. Players have been dropping like flies post-Olympics, with Maria Sharapova pulling out of Montreal with a stomach virus she allegedly came down with the night before losing 6061 to Serena Williams in London. Maybe that explains it. Gold medal winner Andy Murray pulled out of Toronto after his first match with a knee injury, and Rafael Nadal has announced his withdrawal from the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati. Nadal still hasn't specified his injury, and perhaps more troubling, has not announced a return date. Anna Ivanovic didn't pull out of her match at the Rogers Cup, but she might as well have after experiencing her first 6060 loss since turning pro. Roberta Vinci wiped the 2006 tournament champion off the court in just 44 minutes. Afterward, the former world number one said, quote, I can't remember the last time I had a match like this, maybe not since I was a junior. We may be sad for Anna, but it makes us feel a little better knowing that double bagel losses happen to the best of them. Former USTA press officer Randy Walker stumbled across questionnaires he handed out to some of the best American juniors in the 1990s. Turns out Venus and Serena were two of those players, and we thought it was both interesting and appropriate that 12-year-old Serena and 13-year-old Venus listed themselves when asked to name their role model. Both also said their long-term goal was to be number one in the world, and we all know how that turned out. Apparently, the players on the ATP Tour are well aware of American Donald Young's 16-match losing streak dating back to February. Australian Bernard Tomic added insult to injury by announcing to the press that the players know Young is struggling. Quote, we're all aware of that one, he said when asked about the ex-prodigy's losing streak. In case you were wondering, the longest ATP losing streak on record stands at 21 matches lost, thanks to another American, Vince Spadia. On the flip side, former ATP number 2 Tommy Hoff is enjoying a career renaissance after playing three finals on three surfaces in the span of just five weeks. The 34-year-old is back in the top 25 for the first time since May of 2010 and says, quote, I feel like I can pretty much still beat anybody. Head reported record growth in North America as well as increased growth internationally for the first six months of the year, thanks in no small part to top players like Maria Sharapova, Novak Djokovic, and Andy Murray repping the Head U Tech line. We also think it might have something to do with the hilarious Sharapova Djokovic promotions and commercials. Here's one for your viewing pleasure. For a girl, life is unfair. I'm a boy, so I don't care. Look at you once and twice. It's hard work to be pretty and nice I'm so lucky to be a boy Not interested in chocolate at all Take me to the playground of life Play a fun game at night That's all for the Tennis Now News Update. Let us know your thoughts on Rafa's injury, Young Streak, and Novak's Maria impression in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.